and I'm so excited. This is gonna be so cool. I'm just following everybody else to start out here. That's what my job is, and then do any uh, damage that I can do. Try not to die. Stay strong, brothers and sisters. We shall cleanse these halls of the corruption that defiles it. Kill the heretics, indeed. Zebian confectioner. Oh, he makes confectioneries. That's awesome. It's good to have a hobby, huh? That sounds delicious. Get some nerd. What an idiot. Not today, impish, whatever your name was. Somebody died. <laughs> That's not good. Shield wall. Ooh, we got some baddies up top there. Oh, we fell. Oh no. Get back up. Help your friends. Still haven't taken any damage. That's crazy. I totally thought I would get get hit up right then. That's so weird. Because as you guys know, typically I'm the first to die. <laughs> but that's awesome. Good. It means we're working well, you know? Working well together as a team. And as the old proverb goes, there's no I in team. But there is an I in idiot. And I am one. So, we're lucky today. Alright, what is going on everybody? My name is Notorious Crisco and this is episode 10 of PAX Day. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and leave it a like. It really does help me out on YouTube, get more people to see these videos. If you have anything fun to talk about, tips or tricks, please leave them in the comment section below. And then, if you want to see any more PAX Day or just more videos by me in general, please go to my YouTube, Notorious Crisco, hit the subscribe button, and then hit the bell icon. That way you're updated anytime that I post a new video but today we are gonna go with uh, storm's refuge and clear a dungeon which is gonna be pretty awesome it's gonna be our first dungeon um, that we've completed uh, and then after I'm gonna give you a little uh, a little tour ski if you look around here this is our town square um, things have changed look at this place it's starting to look like a legitimate there's the storehouse there looking like a legitimate village at this point almost a town um, I, I love these tables that they've made that's so cool uh, I, I need to learn how they made this it looks so freaking cool but anyways we are going to head on out and go to storm refuges little village down the way which we've been through and into a couple of times and we're gonna meet everybody there it's gonna be awesome wow dude look at what storm refuge has done oh my goodness uh oh, we're being attacked by boar idiots. Look at this place, man. They've got a legit fortress on the side of this mountain. Leave me alone, boar idiots. Stop it. Stop. I gotta go see my friends. Stop. Wow, dude. Look at this place. Look at this place. How freaking cool. I like the I like the little designs out front. Check it out. Storm's refuge. So cool. Wow, nice little entrance here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Oh man, look at this. Look at this place. Wow. Oh, I wonder what that's supposed to be. Looks like a huge, huge building, though. My gosh. All right, Raced is in the party now. Noise. Real, real noise. Wow. Look at this place, you guys. It's crazy what, what people can do in a month. Is this supposed to be a map? Are you kidding me? This is. It's a map. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here we are. We're, we're meeting up with everybody. How awesome. What is up, ladies and germs? Hi. <laughs> how cool, how cool. Look at this place. I love this little uh, this little statue here is really cool. This game is so awesome specifically for this reason. Look at this. Look at, look at the detail on this. Looks so awesome with the triangles up here. The tilted triangles. How cool is that? Oh, get out of the way. How cool is that, dude? Look at these guys, Town Square. This is so nice. I like the little garden out here with the seats. It's very pretty. Very, very pretty. All right. Looks like we're about to leave. I am so stoked. Oh my gosh. This is going to be awesome. And we're off. I will follow them. Heading out the north wall. Huzzah! Let us depart, friends and warriors. <laughs> wow, they've done a, a splendid job over there. Oh my gosh. Why'd they all disappear? Oh, because we're walking through the border. <laughs> I hope that uh, our, our little village can, uh, can compare to them. Oh, okay. Looks like we're going to unstuck. How cool. Smart. That's very smart. Save us some time. All right. To battle, friends. It looks like we're pulling up to it. Oh, interesting. I've been inside of this thing before, but I haven't actually gone down. So this will be fun. This will be real fun. Oh, my gosh. We're really doing it, you guys. We're really doing it. Oh, my goodness. Got some folks from the uh, the Darth Vord clan as well. That's cool. I've never uh, encountered them really. Tis a pleasure, Darth Vord. So they've created a uh, a shield wall 
up front. A real shield wall, everybody. So we're staying near Kalgar. He's gonna be the leader of our row here. We're moving, we're moving in. I'm part of the second row, if I didn't say that already. Oh boy, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. This is gonna be so cool. I'm just following everybody else to start out here. Just stick close to Kalgar, that's that's what I'm, that's what my job is, and then do any uh, damage that I can do. Try not to die. <laughs> if I can just get through this whole dungeon without, without us dying, I'll call it a success for sure victory well here we go we're entering it let's go here we go everybody's throwing on the buffs the buff skis freaking top notch let's go ahead and heal let's go baby oh ourselves a consecrated ground back here perfect that's a great idea where'd calgar go there he is okay try to stay out of everybody's way stay strong brothers and sisters we shall cleanse these halls of the corruption that defiles it kill the heretics indeed Here. oh goodness sakes <laughs> I freaking I would hit my uh, tab button. So there's the the evil doers in there. There's an evil doer. So it looks like we're gonna bottleneck him here. Helion. Oh, he got friggin' wiped. He got friggin' wiped. He had no chance. Get some. Get some, baby. Get some. Get some of this, Helion. Yeah, yeah, scummy scumbag. Zebian confectioner. Oh, he makes confectioneries. That's awesome. It's good to have a hobby, huh? That sounds delicious. A marauder. Here they come, they're gonna catch these hands, that's for sure. Let's go, baby! Boy, we're just, we're like a small army in here, dude. Oh, I freaking wasted a health potion, of course I did. Back with our boys, forming up. Freaking Dunzo. Just straight up destroying these guys. It's not even a fair fight, honestly. I wonder how many enemies are actually in here, because we seem to be just cleaning them up so quickly. Also, we're not going to pick up any of the loot. We're going to let them take care of all that. They'll split it with everybody at the end there. All right, we're advancing. Let's do it. Don't get too close to the sides, someone said. So we got to be real extra careful around the sides. All right, we're going to the right. Let's do it. Let's do it. What's over here? What's over here? Some, some other fiends to destroy. Very cool. We got like a guy going out to scout for everybody. That's so cool. Oh, you got a boar. Bring him back. Bring him back. Bring it back to us. Don't you die on us. I wonder. So he's using a consecrated ground. I just used one as well. I wonder if that stacks. You would think so, right? Oh, oh, oh. I went up a little bit too far there. Good grief. We want to stay behind the shield wall. That's key. Key to our success is letting the shields do their job and we do our job. All right, clear. Let's move in. They're going forward and then to the right, huh? Okay. Okay. That's a really weird statue, dude. I don't care for it. Okay, so this looks like it's a, uh, a pile of treasure, is what they've said. How cool. How cool is that? I wonder what kind of drafts are here, too. I'd be interested to find out. Get some. Get some, nerd. What an idiot. Not today, impish, whatever your name was. Oh, here comes some over here. Dang, that's a lot. That is a lot. Nice job. Good job. Cleared it. Easy peasy. Oh, did somebody die? Somebody died. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, from the right. Okay. Ah, can't see anything. The spear's awesome. Let's throw down another consecrated ground for everybody. Area has been cleared like a bunch of bushes, dude. Okay, looks like we're going to the next section here. Shield wall. Sorry it's so dark, you guys. Not much I can do about that. I'll try to raise the brightness in uh, post, so to speak. It is super dark in here for me, so it's going to be like pitch black for you guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll see what I can do. Nice. Got another treasure pile here. Freaking sweet. So far, all I've seen are just iron buckles and iron studs and rough leather bands on the ground. So I don't know how uh, what the loot's like in here. Hopefully it's good and worth all these people getting together and putting in so much work. So it looks like we've, we've cleared this whole area now. Ooh, we got some baddies up top there. Oh, we fell. Oh, no. Get back up. Help your friends. Uh-oh. We, we got one person up there. Somebody should help him. Is anybody gonna get up there? There we go. Oh, we had another person up there. Oh, all right, all right, no worries. Let's get, oh yeah, thank you, thank you for the lift. <laughs> Appreciate you. All right, we're on to the second floor now. This is gonna be cool, hopefully. It'd be really cool if it showed us like how much damage we're doing in total. Like if there was like a scoreboard at the end and showed how much we contributed to the team. That'd be kind of cool. Not today, infested poor jerk. Uh, I'm stuck. Get out of the way, guys. Okay. Yeah, it'd be cool if it showed, like, how much we participated, you know? 
A larval embalmer. What is that? What does that even mean? What's an embalmer? Like, uh, lighter fluid? Right? It's called embalming fluid. So does he throw magic? He, he didn't have no chance. Hope behind, hope behind. Let's go, baby. Die, Xanet. Your assistance. I'll assist you straight to the grave, son. Heh <laughs> jerk. So what's all in here, I wonder? Another treasure trove of goodies. Freaking awesome. Yes, run to us, you fool. You fool of a Zebian. You will die now. Oh, I didn't get any damage that time. Darn. Oh, I gotta be helpful. I gotta be helpful. They won't invite me back. Yes, I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping destroy the gluttons. Yes. Yes. Notorious Crisco, the professional helper. Professional guy. That professionates at helping and stuff. Yep. I love how careful... We're all being, we have, we have like a million people here and they're still going room to room, checking, touching all their bases. Very cool. Very cool to be that professional at things. But <laughs> we could probably just run through this whole thing and destroy everything in here within minutes, I'm sure. Because I mean, there's a hundred of us <laughs> and they're really not too, too difficult. Get a super hit. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I don't think I've taken any kind of damage upon myself. <laughs> Yep, 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 not today, bud. Not today, not today. Oh, I need to get back, I need to get back. Still haven't taken any damage, that's crazy. I totally thought I would get get hit up right then. That's so weird. Because as you guys know, typically I'm the first to die. <laughs> but that's awesome, good. It means we're working well, you know? Working well together as a team. And as the old proverb goes, there's no I in team. But there is an I an idiot, and I am one, so we're lucky today. Impish intervision. Yeah. An impish intervention. <laughs> That's a funny name. Not today, Hellion. Not today, bud. You're done for, dude. I brought I brought an army with me. Hey, they're not picking up any of the loot. Oh my gosh, I am so lost right now, I have no idea. <laughs> the turns that we made to get here. How do you even say that name? Oh, it's an acolyte. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's just two words on top of each other. <laughs> I'm like, what is that, Russian? Not today, glutton idiots. Deserve death for being ZDN. Oh, from our right. Oh, got ourselves some fours coming through. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Done for, son. Just straight up demolished. Oh, how'd somebody die just then? Really? Aw, get it. I still haven't taken any damage yet. This is wild. Yeah, I feel like they're just leaving stuff everywhere. Oh, I'm sure most of it's trash. <clears throat> stuff that we can get in our everyday responsibilities and, and grinding, I'm sure. But, I don't know, it just feels wrong to leave loot bags on the ground. <laughs> oh, wow, look at all those. Oh, my gosh. That's the that's the most enemies we've seen inside of a room so far. Another little loot ski. Uh, a pile of loot. Or garbage, maybe. <laughs> I really just want to see what's in here. Oh, oh. I want to see what's in there. I think I'm going to I'm gonna try to loot it, but I'm obviously not going to take anything. It's it's going to be split up, but I want to just see what is inside of those. I'm very curious. I'm curious like a cat. That's what my friends call me Whiskers. Just throw down some consecrated ground for everybody every now and again, you know? Try to help out the team. Rip. Ripperoni pizza embalmer. Oh man, pizza sounds great. Oh, a nice ripperoni pizza. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Here we go. Look at all these chumps. All right, we're gonna pull all the bad guys over here in the room to the right. Yep, yep. Take some of this and this. Oh, I'm not hitting him anymore. Oh, uh, oh well. well. He's dead anyway, sucker. What's an impish intervention? Or impish invention? Is that what it said? Invention? Is that where a bunch of imps get together and say that they're concerned for your health and well-being? Yeah, probably. That's what it is. Too bad they're in this dungeon because they're gonna die. Oh look, we got we got a boss coming through. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Have some of this. Have some of my spear, fam. Destroyed. Just straight and purely destroyed this boar master gone. We're like he's gone forever. Not today, boar master. Not today. Nice, nice, nice. I wonder which one was the boss. I'm making like a horseshoe around the, the doorways, just freaking roasting these guys. It's so it's so easy. It's almost too easy. Here we go. Here goes some baddies. Come here, guys. Come here. Let me tell you a secret. Let me tell you a secret. Friends tell secrets. I got you, abductor. You're done for. Oh, apparently there's a boss coming in. Where? Oh, Aper Alpha, huh? Aper Alpha. Oh, okay. 
So it was a boar. I thought that was a person. Oh, uh, so we're supposed to also be getting the loot piles. Dang it. Ah, oh, I've missed so many of them. Oh my gosh. Dang it. I did not know. I'm sorry, guys. I did not know. I've just been picking up trash off the ground. <laughs> Dang it. What a fool. Oh, there's a loot pile somewhere. Oh, here we go. Come on. Give me something good. Okay. All right. So we're looting. We're looting the pile. What are you going to give us? Generic leather. Perfect. Nice. Just what we needed. I have so much of that trash at the house already. Sheesh. That's it. That's all they give us from these loot piles. That's so, so stupid. Oh, look at all these guys. Look at all these guys. Come here. Get them. Get them. They shall perish. You will perish today, you Zebians. There you go. Come on. Give me something good. Interesting loot pile. All right. So what's, what's so interesting from it? Rough leather bands and leather extract. Oh, boy. All right. What do we got in this one? It's just a regular loot pile. Raw hide. Perfect. Perfect. Dude. Oh, I was looking for some raw hide. That's great. That is really great. Imagine imagine not having 50 people with you on one of these and, and you get to this point. You go to the loot pile and you get some rawhide. Give me a break. Gross. Real gross it is. Just picking up trash. Well, I guess I guess that's about it. That's about it, huh? What a shame. I'm letting them all run back to uh, Storm's Refuge. Ah, oh, man, you know, I'm not gonna lie. A little disappointed. <laughs> A little disappointed with the loot that you get from those piles. That's a real shame. But I will say, if they can improve the combat and make bosses have, like, their own unique fighting styles and stuff like that, I think that would become super fun. Plus, you know, it's just a good time to hang out with Storm's Refuge. It's my first interaction with them, really, as well as Darth Vord. Whoa, 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 oh, all right, we're good, we're good. But yeah, they're all good people over there, so thank you guys so much for the invite. That was fun. So now they're doing a uh, loot distribution inside of this stuff. I don't think I'm going to try to take any loot with me. I was just really doing it for, for the funsies, you know? But I would be interested in knowing what, what all people got. So we'll talk to Raced, Lido, and, and Frixie at the end of it. Oh, check this out. They got a stables here. Look at how cool. Oh, wow. Oh, so they just used... Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. They used roofs. They used the thatch roofs. Man, people are so creative. It's wild. Still think this is really awesome. Look at this statue that they've put here. Pretty cool. Okay, so they're getting 24 cracked sigils, then seven worn out sigils, three runic leashes, six molted larva, then eight tattered sigils. Then there's a couple of weapons that we all are going to be choosing from. And uh, remember that all this loot is split between three different clans, all right? So if you just times everything by three, that's pretty much what we made. And I would say an hour, maybe an hour and a half of running that dungeon. Um, super easy, though, with as many people as we had. Oh, my gosh. It was, it was pretty much just a walk in the park. We didn't die even once, so that's a win. We win. We've won. We were pretty close at one point, but yeah, they threw down some heals pretty easily. I think we went like uh, 45 to 50 minutes in until we actually first accrued any damage, so that's pretty awesome. I was up in the second row, all right? I wasn't hiding or anything like that. I was getting it done. You guys saw. I was, I was putting out my 12s and 13s <laughs> of damage ticks. Got some good ingots and ores, it seems. I didn't get the numbers exactly for those, though. Six silver ingots, one pure iron ore. Uh, I think they said gold? Yeah, one gold, six steel, one silver. And then there was a bunch of stuff that he just said that said a little too fast for my brain to compute. So <laughs> I don't know exactly what else he said, but I'm going to get raced and Frixie to hopefully put stuff in a chest and then we'll check it out at the end. <laughs> I know Storm's Refuge place looks really cool. How they got everything concreted and whatnot. I think that looks super awesome. Like it's a, a small kingdom in there. That's really, really awesome. But man, our village is really coming together. Uh, I can't wait to show you guys all this fun stuff that they've made. And of course, nothing they build is uh, going to be anywhere close to as good as this uh, this beautiful church. You know, there's not, they can't compete. They really just can't compete. Just kidding. Their stuff looks awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad that they're right next to us because man, it makes this whole area looks so pretty oh my gosh oh, i got stuck in the thing good going dumb get out get out you dumb dumb oh my gosh jeez man you ever walk or jump much 
All right, so I've asked our representatives of Immortal Blue to go ahead and put uh, everything that they've got from the dungeons because after they split everything. So we got some crack sigils, a lot of sigils actually for for the group. I'm not sure what these are used for just yet. He says the red leashes are very important as well. Okay, the worm is a higher tier magic item. Okay, where's that at? The this guy here, the blotted worm, bloated worm. All right. Ah, uh, and then all right, all right, all right. Not too bad. Not too bad. And then we have just a bunch of trash in our inventory. Um, not too shabby, truly, for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Very happy that they would invite us over here. That's super awesome. These two are the best. They're so much fun to be around. And uh, yeah, we we freaking destroyed them. We destroyed all the Zebian scums. We don't take too kindly to Zebian scum. All right, looks like Race is gonna be able to show us around the new new improvements to our beautiful city. So awesome! Oh, look at this. That's so cool. This looks like a little seating area, you know, like for a restaurant. Look at this, man. How are they making these? Is that is that a actual furniture item that you can get once you get up to a certain level of carpentry? Cause man, those those tables look so cool. Especially the circle stone ones. I really love those. So we got our uh, our free drop area, which is really cool. Wow, I love those. I love how that looks. That looks so awesome. Like it's really just peeking out of the side of the mountain. The free area. Sponsored by the church. Immortal Blue just doing our due diligence and saintly duties given to the server. That's what we do at Immortal Blue. <laughs> and that rhymed. Raced is the one that's made most of these new buildings as well, which is so freaking cool. Forge is right here, which we've already seen. Simple sculpture, not too shabby. What's up, Claus? We have no idea what it means. It just appeared. <laughs> A beautiful forge, of course. Of course, they've seen all of this. Oh, he's calling me out for going into his forge when he wasn't here. Oh, no. Secondary coal farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three tiers. Pretty cool. And just the amount of time it would take to fill up all of these at once. It's ridiculous. Because you guys know how I have four of these large ones and then uh, four of the small ones. He's got an additional four and two on the other side. Like, it would take so long just for me to fill up mine. So the fact that he's able to do that, it's just, it's really impressive. It's no wonder why he's our, our, our leading smith, uh, of course. Of course, the big boys, the big boys smelteries. Two little, uh, two little buildings here. Haven't been given a purpose yet, but it feels like it could be some sort of like, uh, you know, directory or something like that. I don't know. Pretty cool. This is our stables. How freaking sick, right? These are the stables. No, these are gonna be like market stands. See, there, there's supposed to be like a market update coming here soon and uh where we're gonna get like currency and then ways to spend money and and do trading properly so that's cool that they've already got this i love this manhole all right so this is editing crisco and uh there's a joke right there and we're all just gonna leave it alone right let's be mature about this go ahead and just leave that where it is all right okay back to the video love this manhole that is really cool it resembles more of a pit trap yeah totally nice little eating area hangout spot for all the people here's the guild hall okay let's let's take a let's take a wide berth look at it oh yeah that's a that's a guild hall if i've ever seen one dude look at that it's like a dragon on the front oh that is so cool oh a phoenix okay yeah that makes perfect sense that makes perfect sense for frixie yeah yeah <laughs> awesome oh my gosh Ooh, this is his throne he's sitting on the throne wait what you can sit i didn't know you could sit hold on you totally can sit oh that's awesome that's our that's our leader our fearless leader frixie oh the man himself uh i think he went upstairs raced race don't leave me i'm lost in the guild hall huh? there you are hey what's up buddy council meetings sure sure council meetings makes sense council meetings with the boys the boys for the boys tavern is next uh sight to be seen perfect got ourselves our own tavern let's see how it compares with uh titus and sixtus their tavern down the hill oh nice okay okay I like the two different level roofs, three different level roofs. I really like that. That's pretty awesome. A little eating area outside, maybe a dance floor or something. Gorgeous. Straight up gorgeous. This is beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool. Dude, it totally feels like we're in a tavern. Got the antlered chandeliers. How cool. Little little fireplace over here in the side. Oh, it's so toasty. Oh, oh, it's so no, it's not a cooking hearth. It's just a toasty fireplace. I like those, the wine barrels and fermenter doohickeys on the side there. Nice, this is where they make everything, the kitchen. Oh, this is so cool. 
He's brewing moonshine down in the basement. Or, well, he didn't say moonshine, but we can just assume. I mean, it is raced. <laughs> just kidding. This is cool, man. Oh, oh man. it's crazy. How have you done all this? This has been uh, a week's time since the last video. Okay, um, it did take me a little bit longer to get the, the dungeon ready to go um, with the boys. So I had to wait for everybody to, you know, be properly aligned. Um, so it's been a week. Great dining areas. Indeed, they are. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I love how it's three different offset levels. That is so cool. Here's like a VIP area, it looks like, for individual rooms. Oh, okay, okay. Man. We can look out and see people talking and eavesdropping and stuff like that. Oh man, we're gonna get all of the all the dirty deets on the Zebian scum. Zebian scum. Heart room, wagon wheel, etc. Check them out. Okay, let's check them out. Their own personal rooms. So it's like an inn too. Oh. Oh. Oh wow, this one feels really really warm. I like this one. Yeah, with the bear rug on the floor. What about the moon room or the lunar room? Oh, with the windows. This one's got three beds. Perfect. In case in case you know you're with a bunch of traps. Travelers, right? Sometimes in an adventuring party, you guys get got to stop. Um, hopefully, you stop at Immortal Blue. Azarine. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Yeah, we don't use doors. We jump over ledges, jerks. Yeah, what do you know? What do you guys know? Nothing. That's, uh, that's how you make a uh, fancy and flashy exit, I tell you that. How has he made all this in a week? This is crazy. Dude, it took me like a week just to get my area pretty much settled. Ooh, what is this? What is this area? I love this table. Is this just posts? How did he make this? No, that's gotta be, no, this has gotta be a table. What What level is this table, dude? No, can, how did you make this? Couldn't have been hard. He says, I don't remember he was drunk. Listen, kids, drink responsibly or else you'll make handmade, crafted, and and cared for tables without your uh, your knowledge. This is, this is probably my favorite part right here so far. And this is a really good view of it. Good. Good call. I don't know. I think I know it's not much to look at, but it is so nice. It's so calm. I love how it looks. Yeah, it's a wonderful place to chill, dude. That's my favorite part of the whole town so far. Hmm, what is this building? It's built this, but this is the leather shop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's got to put up some, like, uh, uh, what do you call them? Benches? No, what What do you call those? He's got to put up some counters. Sure. Got the bear rug out front. Sure. Gotta. So people can wipe their feet off after travels, of course. Man, how did he make these? If someone knows how he made these, please tell me. I, I need to know how he made those. Built out of being bored. So now he's making things just out of being bored. Oh, I love that tapestry. It looks so cool. It will become something. Surely it will. I'm sure it will, man. It'll be awesome. God, it's just so wild. In a week. That's blowing my mind. What is this area? What, what's this place? These look like conveyor belts almost. The magic shop. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Look. He made this to where it looks like an open gate. That's so awesome. I bet he builds like crazy in Minecraft. My goodness, he would be a professional. Joint collaboration, cool, cool. Secret rooms for hush-hush meetings, of course. Yeah, yeah, gotta have that. <laughs> He's also starting an HOA. Oh no, there goes the neighborhood. It's special help, like our friend Lido over there. Oh yeah, he ha he made this here for one of our new recruits, Lido. I really like how it turned out with the two towers. Move section eight to section three, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like here, take take a gander at the, the front of the build here. F8 view, surely. F7, you mean? Oh, come on. Go, go up faster. Can you not go up? Jeez, why can't I move? It's going so slow. What is happening? Here, let's take a let's take a nice nice look from way back here, huh? Look at this place. It originally started as just the building behind the two towers there, and then Race got uh, upset with Lido for it to look so stupid. No, I'm just kidding. For it to look so plain, and he was like, we need to add towers, and then he did this in like 40 minutes. Guy's nuts. Why can't I move? Go up. Man, talk about a screenshot, huh? Oh, dang it, they've been talking this whole time. Oh, no. Did they not even notice I was gone? What is this place? I don't know this place. What's in here? Looks like a storage area of some sort for what? Or is this Raced's house? This must be Raceland's house. Maybe? I don't know. I can't tell. That's what I get for trying to for trying to do the F7 thing. Man, look at look at this. I, I can't move it. I can't move it. That's so annoying. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the Healy Heals. Thank you. Yep. Appreciate it, boys. Oh, yeah. Super healed now, dude. It's not even like I ran through a dungeon. <laughs> You know, I've been uh, doing my reps, my uh, my calisthenics and stuff, you guys. <laughs> you know, it's some kind of rips. <laughs>
We got some really good community members here. So if you guys are on the Danu server, um, we're up here in Ulaid. Come and hang out with us and join Immortal Blue, man. Like what Frixie's saying right now. Totally. We would love to have more people to join our town, fill everything out more. Like, I can envision this thing being something super special. So come on down to Immortal Blue, you guys. This is awesome. Got really good clan members. Everybody basically spoils you rot and um, help you with dungeons and anything that you need, truly. You need to move your stuff from... All all the way across the server <laughs> we got you all right just not me because i have uh, my legs hurt and my back hurts and i'm getting old and all my money's in savings and i gotta put in a checking so yeah just kidding plus our fearless leader frixie you know i mean <laughs> Look at that phoenix. Would you just look at that phoenix? It says everything that you need to know, all right? About how grand and awesome we are. But let's say bye to these fellas and then go back home. I gotta work on my building. Still can't get over the fact that he's made all this in only a week's time. It's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous to me. Meanwhile, I haven't really worked on my... Uh, well, I did actually, so you guys see, I made another level here. Um, since now we're starting to get up, which I haven't even shown you guys my levels yet. Oh, goodness sakes, what am I doing? Here, hold on, let's get back to the house. So yeah, I made this additional level specifically for like tailor and uh leather working stuff right i've added these two uh tanning racks right here of course because let's go to our skills if you look here right our blacksmithing is at 26 so that's nothing new but our armor and weapon smithing is all the way up to 30 and when you get to this level you gotta do a lot of uh hunting <laughs> bears lots of bear hunting and uh you know flax spinning of course getting yourself your your fine linens and whatnot but the bear hunting hunting is pretty excessive um you gotta spend a couple hours a day getting as many of these as many of these tier two large animal hides and uh i've also been uh knocking out deer so i've been getting these regular animal hides as well since i'm also trying to get up some cooking uh check out our stuff gotten our wine brewing up plus our charcuterie is almost level 20 um cooking's getting up there alchemy's still up there um just started baking so i haven't haven't really done much of that but our tailoring is where we can have easy on uh the easy make for for, for the fine linen string so that's really awesome but it takes a lot to get your leather working up um, if you look at it we're only at level 22 and uh, to make these the fine leather string and bands you need you need probably at least 25 for it to be a, at least moderate um, and we don't have that so if we were to try to do it right now we would just waste all of our hides and it takes a long time to get those hides so I'm trying to just sort of uh, farm um, boil leather right now boil it which we can take all this stuff in fact the boiled leather so we can make some of this stuff here the uh the gloves right now are what i'm working on got them at very easy but yeah we need the leather string leather bands and then you need the full generic leather so yeah it's it takes a long time to get leather working up which means that's going to take us a little bit longer to get either our armor smithing or our weapon smithing up but um we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it done and uh yeah it's gonna be awesome honestly i can't wait till we can make some really high tier stuff because it'd be really nice if we could get up to this, uh, intunated, intunated, attenuated, attenuated plate stuff. Because, uh, that's, that's the big boy gear right there. Big boy gear. Like, right now we're wearing the, uh, let's see, where are you? The munition plate 2, which is 32 down the line. But, look, if we go down to the, uh, the attenuated stuff specifically the uh the breastplate it gives you an additional uh seven on each of these slashing piercing and blunt so that's uh definitely what we want 100 percent, we want that and then on top of that so do all these we're getting pretty close though we're getting pretty close like i said it's been a week so give me another week and uh hopefully i'll i'll have a <laughs> at least up to at least up to 35 is what i'm is what I'm aiming for, but no promises. In fact, I am going out of state and out of town for the next week. So give me like a week and a half. <laughs> but so as I was saying, I'm thinking I'm gonna just make like a little tailor and, and tanning area down here, like a little shed or something like that. Maybe like two sheds, maybe one big building. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna make this our tanning and leather working area just because I'm running out of space up here and I want more of these tanning racks, you know? So I want more of the, tan more of the tanning racks as well as more storage space I like, see we're run, running out of the attic space I don't want to make these go all the way through because I think that would look kind of dumb I like how they're a bit open on these sides here and check it out guys I made us a uh, a forge a big boy forge for the, for the big boys to use for 
doing big boy stuff, which has really helped. So I'm not running all the way to Raceland's Forge every time, you know, it wastes like a good two to three minutes running there and back, you know, so saves us a bunch of time. And plus it looks pretty freaking cool, you know, looks pretty cool. But I think I'm going to call it here, folks. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please take a moment and leave it a like. It really does help me out on YouTube, get more people to see these videos. If you have anything fun to talk about, tips or tricks, please leave them in the comment section below. And then if you want to see any more packs today or just more videos by me in general, please go to my YouTube, Notorious Crisco. Hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell icon. That way you're updated anytime that I post a new video. But besides all that, thank you guys so, so, so much. I truly appreciate you. I truly love you. God bless you. And bye.